What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you how to jailbreak iOS 7.1 through 7.1.1 on your Mac. So Pengu has just been updated to work with your Mac just a few hours ago so I wanted to go ahead and get this video up for you guys so a lot of you have been waiting for this new Mac jailbreak so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that in this video. So the first thing you want to do is just go to this website pengu.io and you're going to click on Mac right here. So once you click on that it's going to automatically start downloading as you can see it'll start right there but I've actually already started this and finished it actually and I've saved it to my desktop. So we're going to go to my desktop right here and all you need to do is make sure that your device is plugged in as you can see right here and I'll show you that I am on iOS 7.1.1 click on about and you can see 7.1.1 so now we're gonna go ahead and open up Pangu and then open it up again right here and if you get an option where it won't open because it's from an un unidentified developer then you're just gonna right click on this and then click open and then you'll be able to open this application up and you'll notice in this version that it's actually in English which is pretty nice they've also removed that third-party software as you can see right here there's no checkbox for that so you don't have to worry about that this time so all you need to know is that this is plugged in and it's being recognized as you can see right here so once it's plugged in you're ready to go go ahead and click jailbreak all right, so now you're going to actually have to change the date. So we did this in the last jailbreak, if you guys watched that. So we're going to go into our settings, and then we're going to go back, and we're going to tap on general, and then we're going to scroll down to date and time. Tap on that, and then we're going to untoggle set automatically, and we're going to set our date right here. So let's go ahead and set it back to June 2nd and then tap general again and it should automatically start as you can see right here it's injecting bundles so let it go ahead and do its thing and when it pops up right here that says please tap the pangu icon on your device to continue just make sure you go to your springboard here we're gonna swipe over and you'll notice a pangu icon we're gonna tap on that and it says are you sure you wanna open up this application pangu from developer of course we do let's tap continue and it's gonna automatically start as you can see right there so this is only going to take a few minutes, so go ahead and sit back, try not to touch your device, and let it do its thing. I'll go ahead and speed this up for you guys. Alright, so you can see that when it boots up for the very first time and it's actually jailbroken, you'll notice on the software on your Mac that it says this is already jailbroken. That's why you get that red text. So now we can just unlock our device, swipe over, open up Cydia, and you can see that it's going to start to prepare the file system. So this is what you have to do every time that you freshly jailbreak your new device. So we're going to prepare the file system and then we'll be good to go. Alright guys, so now we're booted up and Cydia should be prepared. So if we swipe over here and open that up, you can see that we are good to go and you can start downloading tweaks and installing those. Now, if you guys want to see a top jailbreak tweak video for iOS 7.1.1, then make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you're having any issues with this process, make sure to leave a comment in the comments below, and I'll be sure to help you guys out. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.